In this video, I'm going to start working on profile fragment. So uh, if, if I uh, log in to the finished version of the app here, this is profile fragment right here. So also you can get to it by navigating with the navigation drawer. If I click on profile, it takes me to profile fragment. Posts is post fragment. Uh, but yeah, this is the fragment that we're gonna start working on. And consequently, we're going to start working on fragment injection, injecting fragments using Dagger. The first step of this procedure is going to be creating the layout for the new fragment class. That's going to be for this, this fragment right here. And as you might have guessed, because I have GitHub open on the, on the screen here, I'm going to be copy pasting in the layout. So go to either the master branch for the project or the branch named injecting fragments with dagger fragment and go to the layout file fragment profile. And I'm just gonna copy this entire thing. So I'm literally copying this entire thing and now I'm going back to Android Studio and I'm gonna create that layout. So I'm scrolling down, I'm going to the res directory, the layout folder, I'm gonna right click, go to new layout resource file and this is going to be called a fragment profile. And then I'm just selecting everything and pasting in that layout that I got from the uh, from github now since we're creating a new class a new fragment which is the first fragment for the entire project i'm going to be changing the package structure a little bit or creating a new package anyway so i'm going into the ui package going into the main package which is inside the ui package right clicking going to new package and i'm going to create a package named profile and this is where everything to do with the profile is going to be so in this case, all there is is gonna be the profile fragment and the profile view model. But this is gonna be a, a good way to organize your code if there was more things that would be going into this, uh, into this package. So I'm gonna right click on the profile package, go to new Java class and create profile fragment. Uh, first thing I wanna do is extend by, actually the first thing I wanna do is actually close this to give me some more room. So now I'm gonna come into here and I'm going to extend by dagger fragment. So if you remember from the activities, from main activity for example, we extended, whoops, that's a bad example. Uh, if I remember from auth activity, for example, we extended by dagger app compat activity. And we extended by dagger app compat activity to take advantage of some of the convenience methods that are available with the dagger Android dependencies. So with fragments, we're going to extend by dagger fragment for the same reason. We're taking advantage of the convenience methods associated with the dagger Android imports. And basically what this does is it, is it takes care of all of the injecting and things like, it's a lot of kind of the housekeeping things, the boilerplate that we would have otherwise had to write if we didn't use these new classes. Uh, so now I'm going to type log t to get that uh, that log for debugging. I'm going to insert a single method for now, the onCreateView method. And inside onCreateView, I'm going to return inflator dot inflate reference our layout file that we just created. So fragment profile uh, reference the container and pass false. Now there's one last thing I want to do in here before we move forward is I want to print a toast message letting letting us know that this fragment was actually brought into view. So I'm just going to write profile fragment. That way when we're testing we know that this fragment was actually inflated. We'll see a toast message pop up on the screen. Now just like when we injected activities, we need to add this fragment to a module. So when when we were injecting activities, we used this add contributes Android injector annotation and uh, created an abstract method that returned that particular activity. And, and also kind of additionally, it created uh, a subcomponent uh, with that activity. So this would be auth activity subcomponent and main activity subcomponent. So fragments are kind of similar, but the way we're gonna do this is we want the uh, post, or, sorry, profile fragment to exist inside of the main activity subcomponent. So I'm going to create another new package inside the DI package. This is going to be named main. And inside main, I'm going to create a new class. And this class is going to be called main fragment, main fragment builders module. And this is where we're going to put all of the injectors for the fragments. Whoops, I meant to do at module. And it's not just all of the fragments in general, it's the fragments that are gonna be inside of main component. So if we look at the diagram, we have profile fragment and we have post fragment, which are actually the only fragments in this, in this project, but there could be more. Um, and they, they have to exist inside the main component. So that's why I'm, I'm putting them inside of the, um, 
the main package inside the DI package. And then I'm creating a module, main fragment builders module. And now inside here, I'm going to write at contributes Android injector, just like we've done before. I'm creating another abstract method. And this is going to be for profile fragments. And I can just say contribute profile fragment. Uh, and now, oh, well, this needs to be abstract. And now, so the only thing that's gonna be different about this is inside of the activity, activity builders module, I want to pass this as a module inside of the main activity subcomponent. So main fragment builders module dot class. And that means that this fragment can only be used, it's only gonna exist within the scope of the main activity subcomponent. And we haven't talked about scopes yet or custom scopes, but that's gonna be coming right at the end of the course after we've kind of built everything uh, we've got all the modules set up, we've got all the subcomponents set up, everything is set up, then after we're going to go over everything and scope everything correctly. All right, so now how do we test this fragment? Because we actually want to inflate this to make sure that it's working. Well, we're going to inflate it temporarily in activity main. And um, if you've if you've been reading the description of the descriptions of this course and you looked at the GitHub page, um, I'll just pull up the GitHub page just to show you. Uh, if you looked at the, the description of this course here, it says I use Dagger 2, Retrofit 2, MVVM architecture, and Android Jetpack's navigation component library. So the navigation component library we're going to be using for actually uh, navigating the app using the fragments. So later we're going to come back and use the navigation components library but just for now i'm going to use the plain old frame layout and just uh, do a fragment transaction the regular way uh, just for testing and then at the end of the course i'm going to come back and use the navigation components library so just kind of for now i'm adding a frame layout here this is going to do match parent match parent the idea of this will be just you know main container this is just temporary because we need to be able to test our fragment uh, now I'm going to go into main activity and I'm going to inflate this fragment. So I'm going into main activity and I'm going to build a, just like a test method for inflating the fragment. So private void, I'll just call it test fragment. And this is going to be, you know, your plain old fragment transaction. So it gets part fragment manager, begin transaction, call the replace method, reference the container, which is main container, do new profile fragment, since we're just adding a profile fragment, and then just write commit. And I'm going to come up into uh, on create and call test fragment. So now as soon as main activity comes into view, we expect that our fragment will be inflated. So let's run it at this point and take a look and make sure that that fragment is coming into view. There's the app on the screen. Now I'm going to type in a user ID, login, and there is profile fragments coming into view. So everything's working as we expect at this point. Now in the next video, I'm going to get started setting up the view model for profile fragment. The way that we're gonna architect this app is, uh, let me just pull up the diagram here. Um, profile fragment and post fragment will each have their each will each have an individual view model. And I wanted to give them each an individual view model because I've already showed you how to make a view model, how to inject a view model into an activity. So now I wanna show you how to do it into two separate fragments that have two separate purposes. And uh, post fragment will actually make a different call to the API, just so you can see kind of uh, a couple different variations of the same thing.